Hello and welcome to uh, Boost and I'll play some Forza 7 online. Uh, where today, yeah, uh, I'm just going to be messing around on the uh, A-Class lobby. Um, seeing how well I can do with the Solstice, it's been upgraded slightly since the uh, other video. Now pushing a bit more power, it's on racing tyres, just to get it up to the top of A-Class. Really, trying to maximise performance out of it. And uh, yeah, just see how I'm do how I'm gonna do in uh, three races, and see well, really, uh, how badly or well I can do. Um, anyway, yeah, without further ado, let's get on. So our first race was at one of the Sonoma lanes. I forget exactly which one it is, and uh, well, as with all online races, really, the start was a bit. Um, how do I put it? Chaotic, I think would be a good one. Yeah, as things sort of go bumping into each other, something taps me at the rear, I bump into a Porsche, spin around across the track, manage to stay out of everyone's way, sort of block a Ferrari slightly. Thank you for not hitting me there. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, although I wouldn't have entirely blamed you if you did hit me. Uh, anyway, I have a lot of ground to make up as I'm in dead last. As I begin chasing down on this Porsche, more shenanigans happens as the Ferrari brushes with the Porsche and goes out wide. There's a BMW sideways spinning off the track and an Audi estate car. As I dive up, well, I say dive, go up the inside of the Porsche side by side with the Escort Horizon Edition or Forza Edition as we go into the long hairpin. I manage to get around without going onto the grass. At the end of this straight now, we're going to the hairpin. I catch up on the uh, Forza Edition GT86. No, but not quite managing to get the move done on him as we go into the uh, sort of high speed S section here. Um, I lose the back end, sort of slide a bit, manage to keep it all under control for a very slidey car. This Solstice is really good handling. Uh, into the chicane, he takes a bad line, breaks a little late. I can capitalise on that going round his right on the inside of this turn. And as we head down the straight now, we'd find out that that would all be for nothing. Because I completely outbreak myself. Go wide, and both him and the Porsche just go straight past. So, I've got to start again from, uh, well, zero again. Well, kind of. As I uh, make a move, or try to make a move on the Porsche, I apologise for that. I thought you were going to break a lot uh, later than that. I had no idea, really. And I think that proves why you shouldn't follow cars closely. Anyway, I continue on. There's really no point in waiting. Uh, it doesn't really help anyone. Uh, as we stay close to the uh, GT86, getting close to his uh, rear bumper there, he runs a bit wide, and I go past him. Bit of a brush there, I, that's fine though, a little bit of contact is always good, um, as long as it doesn't upset anyone. Anyway, that will be basically me leading for the next, uh, next part of the race, up until the hairpin, where he uh, he closes in on me. Uh, I managed to pull away again though, it was a close moment. Of course, on the second lap, I managed to mess up the hairpin be again, because, yeah, you know, there's always that one turn that I get wrong. Final lap, really, again, into the chicanes, I did spot a car up ahead that I was gaining on. I think given another lap, maybe I could have caught him. Uh, I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah. Overall, that was a good race. A couple of close moments, a bit of fun. Uh, I apologise for the Porsche that I hit and uh, spun off the road. Not really much I could have done uh, in that situation to avoid it, other than, you know, Andrew staying out from behind you, but hey. Uh, sometimes moments like that happen. Anyway, I finished 10th with the best lap of 146.9. Okay, so the second race was at the shortest layout of Silverstone, and immediately I go off spinning. Basically, I only realised the race was starting right as it began, uh, so I instantly just turned on the recording and uh, pressed play on the music, and, well, I decided to change song. Anyway, so yeah, I'm back of the pack again, I make a good run through the first turn, catch an Evo and a Mazda, which I pass with a little bit of contact, sorry about that, take out one of his headlights, which I apologise for, BMW, I think, was it, I don't know, I didn't see, it was something in the tie barrier as I passed the Twerk Stallion on the left there, um, 
Bit of a risky move in the rain really to have all the side by side racing, but Silverstone's fairly wide. It isn't too bad. Uh, I go for kind of a safe dive up the inside, making sure to stay well out of the uh, Twerk Stallion's way, which I do. Uh, Mercedes GTS uh, AMG, uh, which um, stay side by side with a bit of contact. Nobody really gets upset by it though. Uh, which is good. I'm fine with contact as long as nobody's day gets ruined. Um, but yeah, uh, we have a bit of contact. I begin chase on it immediately. Try making a move around the outside and somehow pull it off. Bit of uh, bit of tire on the curb there, uh, which slightly upsets the car, but otherwise it was completely stable. I was really impressed with how this car was performing in the rain. Uh, Ferrari hits the barrier. Uh, taps an Evo at Luckily Ghosts before I get to it. Uh, otherwise, that could have been my race ruined. Uh, as we begin chase on an Evo 6 now, uh, with. I can't see what that is up ahead. Getting to almost 140 miles an hour as I begin braking. Uh, an NSX up ahead of it. So the NSX runs wide. Evo. Um, well, seems like they'd be the best car here, to be honest. Uh, All wheel drive. Uh, plenty of grip, probably, uh, to use in this uh, rainy weather. Unfortunately, he makes a mistake. I somehow dodge it and run out wide uh, to uh, chase a 911 GT2 um, into the first corner again. And he begins sliding. I get a much better run through the turn. Can make up a bunch of time down the straight. I had such good pull out of that uh, first turn. It was insane. I go out wide, the Porsche misjudges braking, well done on you for not hitting me there, thank you. Uh, some good driving by you for keeping it all stable and not just losing control. Um, and we begin chasing the NSX, which still has quite a way ahead of us, so that's going to be difficult to really make up as we take these next few turns now at a BMW. Up ahead of the NSX, that as we slide through the turn, still not particularly making up any ground. Uh, on this turn again, the next lap, the BMW goes for a spin, uh, leaving me to gain another position and get a bit closer to the NSX, which is always good, hoping to make a move at any possible moment. As we head back into the first turn, trying to get as close as possible. As we break, I try and stay close to the fire spitting NSX, uh, try and do everything I can to uh, get as close to it really, stay in its slipstream, carry as much speed. Unfortunately, it would not be uh, my day, as I make a mistake and uh, my luck runs out, you can slam into the tire wall and lose a position to the BMW. So, I've got to make up all that ground again in two laps. Well, that's not going to happen no matter how good of a driver you are, and especially not me. But, I do manage to catch up with the BMW a bit. I will run a bit wide into the first turn on the final lap, and uh, just me trying to push it into the final couple of turns now. The BMW makes a mistake, overcooks it, and I go around the outside getting sideways. He's right on me, he could make a move if I make a mistake, although he's sliding quite a lot. I kind of want to join him in on the drifting, but at the same time I'm not good enough a uh, driver to really hold it. Um, I'd most likely just spin. So as we head towards the finish line, and I cross the line in ninth place, best lap of 1 minute 03. Final race for today is at Lime Rock, the, uh, the shortest circuit without any of the chicanes, thankfully, on online. And this entire race was absolutely action-packed. I stopped behind the NSX uh, that I had such trouble with. The Evo comes up the uh, side of me and immediately, well, it's chaos. I get rammed slightly and R32 goes off, tries to rejoin, taps me. I apologise for that, but yeah, nothing we can really do. NSX falls behind me, which is good for me, as uh, the Caterham uh, gets caught up by a Porsche. I get close to it, something goes off on the left there, a Peugeot hits the wall as I go slightly rally crossing. Um, 
stay, staying close to the cage room now, Some, somehow I can keep up with it through the braking zones, carrying a bit of speed, trying to find a way round, get a bit of wheel spin at the top of the hill there, so I try and go for a dive up the inside, get a, get my car up sli slightly sideways, uh, sort of understeer across the road, getting in front of the cage room, I apologise for that, completely my fault there. Uh, he wasn't too affected until the next turn where we get into another battle, the NSX is right behind me, meaning we're going to have a nice free car battle most likely. Um, as me and the cage room go side by side down the straight, I'm getting slightly squeezed out, but managed to uh, keep it, keep myself on the road until sort of halfway around the turn where I get caught on the grass and understeer wide. The NSX clearly has a few problems too, as both a Evo and something else, I believe that's BMW, uh, go past it. Uh, um, as I um, begin chase, uh, quite a big gap between us, to be honest. Uh, um, the biggest space be I had between a car this entire race. As we enter the turn, there's more chaos as something's understeered off. I believe that's BMW M2. Peugeot swerves across the road, and I'm back on the cage room. Uh, I take it nice and easy into this turn, not wanting to create another problem like I did the first lap, uh, and manage to still stay close into this uh, long, the final turn. Um, I'm right on the cage room again, gaining on the NSX, as I decide to go too wide, and the cage room makes it free wide, uh, as we all break. The cage room wisely decides to drop back, while the NSX stays in the lead, I get a nice overtake on the cage room, hoping I can pull something on the NSX. As well, uh, we stay close, me, I can't really find a way past the NSX. It's doing a good job of defending, but I'm just not good enough of a driver. Um, as we uh, head into the uh, high speed right hander here, uh, I uh, sort of Again, not really playing it too risky or anything. Uh, um, try and stay safe. And I notice an R32 in my rearview mirror. Uh, or I should say a ballistic missile, because that thing was terrifying behind me. It seemed to have no grip, but loads and loads of speed as I run wide on the final turn. Giving it a nice chance to uh, maybe capitalise on it. It doesn't seem to make up any ground either. I've got enough power to... Uh, fight it off. All my gear ratios are just so short. Probably a mixture of both. I somehow hold it off. He's a good driver there. I'll give him that for uh, not hitting me just diving up the inside like he could have. Um, uh, holding his own, trying to find a way past me as I'm trying to gain on the NSX. Um, across the road, tyres scattered everywhere because of the accidents. I'm stuck upon the NSX on the straight get a good run through this turn, get it very close to the tyre barrier, in fact clipping the wall slightly as I uh, crest the hill, braking into this turn, understeering a bit, getting two wheels off the road into the final turn again. There's really no point where there was no action, uh, or any point where there wasn't, there's no point cutting it since it was so short. As I begin chasing down the NSX, down the longer straight, um, getting close to it, almost tapping it there as the R32 gets close. I oversteer a bit, he managing to sort of cut across in front of him, not on purpose blocking or anything. But um, yeah, I would say that was skillful defending, but it really wasn't. It was me oversteering and panicking. The R32 has a couple of oversteering moments behind me as we go side by side. He is just right on me. And we both break. The R32 goes up, has a bit of an oversteering moment. I tap him, actually more hit him. He really, I apologise for that. Uh, completely my fault that you spun there, and I am sorry. There's nothing you can really do in times like that. Again, sort of similar with the Porsche. I really need to work on my sort of forward spatial awareness as I understeer wide on the final turn again. Chasing down the NSX now, looking for any possible way to catch him and get a pass in this final lap. I doubt I'll be able to, but um, you'll just have to see. Uh, as I get quite a good line through the uh, first turn, using up all the road, the NSX makes a slight mistake on the exit, allowing me to close the gap massively, which is good, as I sort of oversteer my way through the chicane. The gap opens up a bit, uh, a Focus RS starts appearing in my rearview mirror. 
which could make for an interesting free car battle in the final few turns if we if he's quick enough. As we go into the final couple of turns now, I play it safe again, uh, not wanting to make a mistake. Unfortunately, I do run a bit wide. A Camaro spun around, hits an Evo, and that slows down everyone. I try and carry as much speed as possible, run a bit wide, clip the tire wall. As we're going, as I rejoin the road right by the Camaro and the NSX, the Camaro swerves across the road to uh, take care of the NSX, which is yeah, kind of a bit cheaty in my book, but whatever, he was going to win anyway. Um, or we'll win out of our little battle there. Uh, so overall, that was quite good. I'm quite happy with the quality of racing there. It was um, it was enjoyable, and uh, a lot better than I expected for online standards, definitely. Uh, I think of doing more of this, maybe make this Tuesday's video, or maybe make this uh, Saturday's videos, I don't know. I'll see how this goes, how well this does, and maybe you'll see more of this. Anyway, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Until next video, goodbye.